chapter 66. It was decided that the next afternoon, the loan sharks would come back with the 50000 and my parents would hand over our passports and IDs. I walked to school with nails in my stomach. It was last day of school, as well as we all cleaned out our desk and counted down to the last hour. Jason walked up to me. Hey, he said. In his hand, he was holding a pencil. It was my sparkly green pencil. The meaning to give this back to you, he, uh, he said, handing the pencil to me. I looked down at the pencil in my hand, hands. I expected it to be super short and beat up by now. I had had vision of Jason's dog chewing on it. Jason stabbing things at home with it, wearing it down to a, a nub. But it was exactly the same length as before and was as beautiful and sparkly as ever. Thank you, I said. This means a lot to me. I hugged my pencil in my hands. I'm sure you'll write great things with it, he added. I looked up at him, surprised, like the piece you wrote about coming to America. A smile stretched across my face. Thanks, I said. Jason looked down at the floor. I'm sorry I made your year so miserable, he said softly. It's okay, I said. I'm sorry, too, for, you know. I could see in his eyes I did not need to remind him about the time in the auditorium. He probably remembered every day. Here, I have something for you, too. I said, I reached deep into my backpack and pulled out the thank you, the, the thank you letter I'd been meaning to give him. I'd been carrying it around in my backpack for months. Jason looked down at the note, surprised. He smiled as he read my words. As I turned to leave, Jason reached out and touched my arm. What? I asked. He's bluffing. There's no other buyer. It's just you guys. He'll take a lot less for the motel. I stared at Jason. His brown eyes blazed with courage. But it was his kindness that blew me away when the, the school bell rang. I ran.